staff and customers of Ulster Bank have expressed concern following confirmation that the lender is to withdraw from the Irish market after 160 years operating here. Parent company NatWest confirmed that the country's third largest bank will wind down its operations on a phased basis with the closure of all 88 branches impacting 2,800 jobs. Unions representing staff have met the Minister for Finance to discuss the implications of the decision. Well, our Consumer Affairs correspondent, Fran McNulty, has been looking at the implications for Ulster Bank customers. Fran, uh, people are very concerned about Ulster Bank. It shouldn't, Sharon, because the terms and conditions which you agree, agreed with Ulster Bank when you took out your mortgage... ...is due at this point. Probably at this point, they shouldn't do very much. They should wait and see. No accounts will be closed unless you decide you want to close your account. And the banks will start to charge for the privilege of holding your money. This is a sad reality of the world we live in right now. There's a hundred... The Taoiseach has said that nothing is set in stone when it comes to the easing of Level 5 restrictions, but that the Cabinet will examine the issue next week. Under plans being considered by government, schools and childcare programmes will reopen on a phased basis next month, but construction and other services will remain closed. NASA's Perseverance rover has sent back the first pictures from Mars after a successful touchdown. The rover will be used to search for signs of ancient life on the Red Planet. The historic landing came after a seven-month journey into space. Now, the catwalk has gone digital for London Fashion Week, which opened today. Irish designers are amongst those showcasing their autumn winter collections online. Instead... The G7 Group of Nations has pledged to €7.5 billion Euro to the World Health Organization's COVAX programme to supply COVID-19 vaccines to developing nations. After a meeting chaired by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel said the pandemic will not end until the whole world has been vaccinated. And that's the 6-1 News this Friday from all the team. Thanks for watching and have a good evening.